I'm a grandfather now. My children watched The Lion King, we watched the, movie, the, the musical when it came to South Africa, and we knew it's a story of Africa. It happens in Africa, and it is my property, because that continent and those animals and those trees and those little bushes and hochojis are part of my heritage. So to tell the story again of the Lion King, of Simba, of Mufasa, and to play this mischievous, naughty old man, a wise sage who is cracking and joking but keeping order and making sure that the legacy of the pride of King Mufasa continues. He has a huge responsibility, therefore he takes it with great pride, but he loves Simba very much, teaches him the lessons of life, the lessons of kingdom, and makes him understand that look in the water, look in the mirror, that's who you are, your whole family. There's a saying in our, our language that walk as if you've got 3,000 ancestors walking behind you all the time, so lift your head high. Yes, indeed, because what do you see mostly? You're in a little cubicle and you hear voices and then you work the state of the mind. It's the most challenging to create a character out of voice and also to match this great Rafiki. And uh, all I asked the director, can that monkey not look like me, please? <laughs> it's not gonna go well in Africa that the great John Gandhi looks like a monkey. <laughs> but it's been a great, great joy for me, incredible experience to work with John Favreau and to work through this process. And with this an ensemble of great actors I know, I work with, I, with Chiw Ijipo Chiwetel in another movie. I know Alfred Woodard, who was honored in South Africa for, his, for her great contribution to democracy. I know James L. Jones. So I knew who the, the, the people I'm dealing with. It was fascinating just to deal with, with, with Nala Beyonce. Which my daughter says, if you don't come with the picture of Beyonce, I'm not talking to you till I get married. And I'm keeping that because until she gets married, then I'll tell about Beyonce. And the young man, Donald, I mean, Donald Glover, is a fantastic musician and a great actor. So it's been an incredible opportunity for all of us to tell this story.